Earthbound. So this is the last Predator bonus mission where we get the um, grappling hook. I don't know why. It would be awesome in... It would be awesome in Tarago. This level is... I don't know. It's a little bit darker than the previous one, but again, there are some places where you get to fight aliens and marines kind of together. I think Tarago really missed that. Shut up. Oh god. I forgot. I never play this level. Although, I think, if I recall correctly, there's a mini gunner. Oh man, this is so annoying. Shut the fuck up. There's a mini gunner in here. Oh no. My bad. That's later. Alright, you done? Let's go through here. I don't play this level or temple very often. Mostly for the reasons I've already said about the Predator. I don't like playing as the Predator, just period. Well, Fury 161 is a good level. Let's, let's heal, since we have some fuel charge. Waiting for the fans to stop. There we go. Yeah, so... I will probably forget something and do something very stupid. And this field church right here. I think there's a human in here. Yeah. So let's see what's over here. No one. You see what I mean by getting lost in the blue? Oh god. Sometimes this is kind of finicky. And yeah. Then aliens will keep attacking us. Yeah, so as you can see, this is not quite the same kind of like mixing of aliens and marines as. I got him. You have to give me that one. Why is this so finicky? Don't tell me it's not finicky. It is. Don't tell me I just suck. I do, but that's not the reason why that happened. Right. Now, I, I do remember one thing. The one thing I remember is there is a smart gunner. I believe there's a smart gunner. Yeah, we have to take him out. It's like right there. You can see his leg. Alright. For some reason he can't live without his leg. I don't know why. And, okay, so I remember that, and I remember the ending. You know, this... It, it just sounds like a sound effect from fucking Unreal Tournament. No, oh, what am I doing? I'm gonna heal, because I know there's a minigunner beyond these doors. And, yeah. I don't really know a very effective way to take him out. So I'm gonna get the spear gun. Nope. This blade. Now oh, spear gun. Let's see if he moves. There he is. Alright, good. This guy is no, no problem. 
last bonus mission, Turargo. Let's do it. Yeah, it's too bad we don't get the grappling hook for this level. This level would be awesome with the grappling hook. Another thing that kind of sucks about this level is that there's like no field charge, or if there is, I don't know where the field charge is until halfway through the level. So I might have to resort to spear gunning and wrist blades. Use the wrist blades now. <laughs> you just see him drop down. Even though it says security has overridden the doors, we're going to need that lever. Well, I suppose we could do it later, but whatever. That's what I'm talking about. What happens if I just leave her? I'm just wondering if she would throw the Molotov at the aliens when they come. So yeah, this level kind of drops the ball on mixing marines and aliens. You, you play through this whole level Fighting nothing but marines. Oh, motherfucker. Alright, wrist play time. No fuel charge. Come on. Come on. Usually there's field charge. Well, in fact, there, there's always field charge in that. The problem is we, uh, the shoulder cannon is kind of a dumbass weapon. In that it just destroys everything. So... I'm gonna use this. Ah, there we are. I'll just use this. Back to the pistol. Stop destroying the fucking field charge. I guess you could get the field charge earlier? I don't know. But like I said, it's like you play through this level once while just fighting marines, and then you play through it the second time just fighting aliens. I don't know how else they could have done it, but it would be cool to have more, like, I always think it's fun to see aliens and marines together. Or, like, competing species, I guess, in any game. It's always fun to spectate. Do they just keep coming? Hmm. And this is back to where we started. And unlike the marine mission, we don't actually have to pull the lever. What was he doing down there anyway? I don't know. Anyway, we're done. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the Director's Cut videos.